Okay, hello. Thank you for clicking this video. So, as you can tell by the title, I recently had to take my hamster to the vet. And out of the whole nine months of owning my hamster, I have never had to take her to the vet once. So this was definitely a new experience. So I'm just gonna share it because, um, yeah. So yeah, basically what happened was I was getting ready to go off to work and I see Nyla out and about in her cage. And like always, every time I see her, I go up and stare at her because she's so cute. And I'm like, oh, hi Nyla, blah, blah, blah. This time she's under a hideout chewing her favorite chew toy. And I'm just like staring at her like, oh Nyla, you're so cute and da da da. Sounds like I'm like cat calling her. Okay, I'm not, <laughs> wait. You know, I was just doing the cute stuff you do with pets. Then I see something really unusual that I've not seen before. So I'm like trying to take a closer look to see what it is. And basically what I saw was like a growth on her face. I'm gonna explain kind of in detail what I saw. So if you're sensitive to like detailed description of medical stuff, like, I don't know, maybe skip ahead. So what I saw was like this kind of sizable growth on her lower lip it was the same color as her lip so like this palish pink color um and the size of it i'm trying to think i want to say it was like the size of her eyeball like obviously like on her lower lip so i'm just trying to like compare but it was pretty sizable for her size like she's a dwarf hamster it was a pretty big growth just like hanging off her lower lip um, there was no like fluids, no discoloration. It was just, it looked like a skin tag, but like on her lip, which was like weird. Um, so I saw it and as you would, I was concerned. I was like, okay, I've never seen this before. This is the first time I've like seen Nyla in like a day and a half. When she was awake, I was sleeping, blah, blah, blah. So I had not seen her in a minute. So. I was thinking, well, this has grown within the last like two days, I guess. It didn't seem like a super urgent medical situation, but it definitely was unusual. So right in that moment, I decided, okay, well, I'm gonna take her to the vet, but I also have work. So I was trying to figure out what to do. Should I cancel, should I call in work and be like, okay, I can't come. Should I take her after work or should I find someone else to take her to the vet while I'm at work? So I was trying to figure out what to do while I put her in her carrier case. I could have just left it to like the next day or just like seen it and been like, oh, it doesn't look so bad, let me just leave it. But I see hamsters as like really small and fragile. So I don't wanna like risk it, I'm not a vet. It was a high priority to get her seen at the vet as soon as possible. So I eventually decided that I am going to work and I will just drop Nyla off with someone I trust to take care of her, to take her to the vet. Um, so I explained the situation to them, found a vet that specifically can take care of hamsters because hamsters are considered an exotic animal. Most of that's for like for dogs and cats and like stuff like that, more, more basic animals. I had to make sure there was like a hamster specialist in the vet and there was. So we were able to take Nyla to that vet, which is good. So now I'm off at work and Nyla's off at the vet. Um, and I am just checking my phone, checking for like updates and everything. Um, it was like an hour wait until Nyla was seen at the vet. So she was maybe in her carrier case um, for quite a while before she got back home into her main cage. So I'm sure that wasn't the best for her, but then again, it was like during the day. So she was like sleeping most of the time. Um, and I could tell like in the car ride um, to dropping Nyla off, she was like trying to fall asleep, but and she couldn't cause the car was moving. So stuff like that. Finally, the hamster guy shows up and he is seeing Nyla. Nyla did bite the vet. It was, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. She doesn't really bite me, um, maybe sometimes, but she's pretty well tame, I guess. With strangers, she's not, which is fair enough. So she did bite the vet and he did take a look at her and pretty much said she's fine, <laughs> which is good. Um, kind of said it's maybe like a wart or something just on her face. I'm personally not too sure like why. I don't know if she has 
some infection or illness or something but he said she looks healthy she's acting normal like every other feature about her is healthy and she's just she's just being her regular healthy hamster self just the only thing is she has a growth on her lip and it's not really affecting her negatively really um it's kind of just there so i was wondering i was just like texting because i'm still at work at this point so i was just like wondering can it be removed what's like the options with that um and i guess it could be removed by a surgery but hamsters are pretty small and fragile they have a short lifespan so to put their bodies through surgery and recovery time and all of that isn't worth it especially if the medical issue isn't really negatively affecting their life that much is pretty much what i understood from what the vet said also there was like antibiotics he could put her on or something like that but either way it looks fine so the best thing is is to just leave it and to just keep checking up on it, making sure it doesn't get infected and there's no blood or pus coming from it. Sorry if this is a little graphic. And to make sure it doesn't grow. Yeah, that's basically what happened. Then before she got home, I, 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 got, her, I got her to come to work so I could just check up on her and make sure she was okay. And she met some of my coworkers. Um, but yeah, that was cute. But yeah, she literally seemed fine. I don't even think she knows it's there. Like she's just acting normal. Um, that day, I think she was just mad that she couldn't sleep proper because she was in the car and then she was seeing the vet and she was getting like passed around. Um, but then as soon as she got home, she fell asleep. She dug herself right into all the bedding and fell asleep. And ever since she has been, she's been fine. And this was a, maybe like a few days ago. Um, and I'm constantly checking her and looking at the growth to see if anything happens with it. I'm still not entirely sure like why it's there or what's going on, but the most important thing is like, it's fine. It's not like debilitating her in her life. Yeah, she literally seems fine, which is the important thing. Okay, so here is Nyla being her little healthy self i guess i think maybe the one thing she does struggle with now is like pouching her food just because the growth is near her cheek um but i'll try and show it to you so i don't know if you can kind of see it it's hard to see i do have some pictures of it but again it doesn't seem to be negatively affecting her life and intervening would kind of be worse for her body than just like leaving it um which makes sense she's like a small little creature oh yeah and the bill that i got um wasn't crazy it was 70 bucks but if you think about it it was 70 bucks for the vet to tell me she's fine so that was kind of like okay but yeah fine to pay it happy to pay it um, so yeah, that was my experience with having to take my hamster to the vet. Some few advice that I will lend off. If you're going to have a hamster, make sure you are financially able to take them to the vet. Um, cause that was just a checkup that was 70 bucks for me. And I know just vets are expensive in general. So I don't know, make sure you you are financially able to take care of your animal or you have someone that is willing to take care of your animal financially because you never know, you never know when you're gonna need to take them to the vet. So that's like important. And one other piece of advice is, I think it's really helpful to have at least one person that you also trust with your hamster. Cause obviously I trust myself with Nyla. I know my hamster care. I know what I need to do. But it's also really helpful when other people around you in your life know also. Because sometimes I'm out and I need someone to feed Nyla. So I've shown other people how to do that. Or just having someone that I trust with her to take her to the vet when I can and stuff like that. So just maybe think of 
who's in your life that can do that that can be that person it takes a village you know but yeah nyla is fine for now i'm just gonna keep checking up on her growth literally don't know why don't know why it's there but it's it's not the end of the world um so yeah if this has happened to your hamster let me know i was trying to google it and i didn't see anything um quite like this before so i hope this video was interesting thank you for watching sorry if that was a little graphic but yeah that's pretty much it I'ma make you feel alright. Be okay if we stick together.